Hi, um, I'm Caitlin, KS3P, and then this is the inventory section of my video for building the Rockmic 20 kit. Um, and then a few minutes ago, I opened up this bag, um, and then inside of it were, or were about five other bags um, containing the parts for the kit. In bag one, I have some diodes and three RF chokes. In bag two, I have transistors, ICs, and sockets for the ICs. Um, and then in bag three, I have crystals, resistors, and about a four inch length of wire. And then in bag four, I have disc capacitors for blue electrolytic capacitors. And then in bag five, I have capacitor, a capacitor um, in the RF chip to limit spurious emissions. Um, and then, and then, and then I also have a circuit board, or else where would all the parts go? Um, so, and then I have some, I also have some cutters and pliers, um, but these are my diagonal cutters. They're used to cut um, some of the heavier wires and um, leads. Um, at, I use these long nose pliers um, to form the um, leads so that they fit into small holes on the circuit board. And I use these wire snips to, um, after I'm done soldering the, um, the components into the correct holes, and after I make sure they're in the right hole, then I use these wire snips to, um, to cut the um, leads off and then I also have my handy solder wick so if I get something into the wrong hole or have a solder bridge I can fix it um, I also have some jeweler screwdrivers um, and then I also have a um, fluke meter which is a digital multimeter I use it to check resistance and ohms to make sure that diodes are good and to check the continuity. And then I also have a Weller soldering iron. It it I need, but it's not on right now. Um, but before I turn it on and start using it, um, I need to make sure that it's well tinned and that I have a moistened sponge and um. And it's temperature controlled. Um, so these are all the parts that I have. And, uh, and we'll start building in a few minutes in part four.